The flat tire murders refer to a series of chilling and unsolved homicide cases that occurred in Broward and Miami-Dade counties, Florida, between February 1975 and January 1976. This series of crimes left a permanent mark on the local community and continues to be a topic of discussion and investigation among law enforcement and true crime enthusiasts. Background and Timeline The string of murders began in February 1975 and continued until January 1976. The victims, all found in different locations across Broward and Miami-Dade counties, shared similar patterns in the circumstances of their deaths, leading investigators to suspect a connection between the cases. The modus operandi one of the most distinctive elements of these murders was the method believed to be used by the perpetrator to target the victims. In at least two instances, the offender reportedly deflated the tires of the victims' cars. This tactic, seen as a way to make the victims vulnerable and stranded, gave the series of murders its name, the Flat Tire Murders. This approach suggested a level of premeditation and cunning on the part of the perpetrator. Victims and Investigation The victims varied in age and background, but the similar method of murder suggested a single perpetrator or a group working in tandem. Law enforcement agencies pooled resources in an effort to track down the killer or killers. Despite extensive investigations, including forensic analysis and interviews, the cases remained unsolved. The lack of advanced forensic technology at the time was a significant hurdle in gathering conclusive evidence. Impact on the Community The flat tire murders caused widespread fear and anxiety in the local communities. The random nature of the attacks and the inability of the police to apprehend the suspect as left residents feeling vulnerable. The cases also highlighted the challenges law enforcement faced in solving complex murder cases in an era before widespread use of DNA testing and other advanced forensic methods. Legacy and continued interest. Decades later, these cases continue to intrigue both the public and law enforcement. With advances in forensic technology, particularly DNA analysis, there remains hope that new evidence may surface, providing closure to the families of the victims and potentially leading to the identification and apprehension of the perpetrator S. True crime enthusiasts and investigative journalists often revisit these cases, hoping to shed new light on the mysteries that have remained unsolved for so long. The flat tire murders remain a dark and unresolved chapter in Florida's criminal history. They serve as a reminder of the complexities of criminal investigations and the importance of advancements in forensic science. As long as these cases remain unsolved, they will continue to captivate and haunt those who seek justice for the victims and answers to these tragic mysteries. The individual believed to be responsible for these heinous crimes was described as a white male, likely in his early to mid-twenties, with a physically fit and attractive appearance. He was often seen well-dressed, suggesting a certain level of sophistication. Characteristics attributed to him included high intelligence, potentially with an IQ above average, and a disturbing penchant for sadistic behavior. His ability to charm and gain the trust of potential victims was noted as a particularly alarming aspect of his modus operandi, often using this charm to lure victims to his vehicle. A reward of $1,000 was offered for any information leading to his arrest, reflecting the urgency and seriousness with which law enforcement agencies were pursuing this case. Investigators hypothesized that this individual might have been involved in similar criminal activities across various states, dating back to the early 1970s, possibly beginning in California. The pattern of these crimes was disturbingly consistent. The victims often bore physical similarities to one another and suffered brutal treatment. They were typically beaten and assaulted before their deaths. 
The perpetrator then removed their clothing and disposed of their bodies in isolated locations such as canals, streams, or near embankments. In total, there were 35 recorded murders fitting this pattern, each one a tragic and unsolved case demanding justice. The flat tire murders, like many unsolved crimes, represent a puzzle that has yet to be completed. They are a stark reminder of the limits of criminal investigation techniques in the past and a testament to the advancements in forensic science. As technology continues to evolve and public interest remains high, there is hope that these tragic cases will eventually be solved, bringing closure to the families of the victims and justice to the community. The journey towards solving the flat tire murders continues, symbolizing the relentless pursuit of truth and justice in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges.